All right, welcome to the Great Minds Podcast. This is Derek. This is Vaughn. And we're here with Ransom. What's good, brother? What's going on, man? How y'all feeling? Good, feeling man. Good, man. You staying safe out there? I know everybody all masked up now. <laughs> I've been masked up, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, plus, I, feel, I feel right at home. <laughs> I hear that. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Well, um, pleasure having you on. And just a brief introduction to those of you who may not no ransom. Um, one of the best lyricists in the game. Um, been around music about two decades, maybe a little bit longer. Um, has a highly anticipated director's cut three coming out. Um, yes, so we're excited to have you on. We're excited for that project. So um, you know, salute to album of the year. All right. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, so I guess just for the people that um don't know you, can you give us a little little background? Um, I don't know, man. I've been rapping. I've been doing this shit for a long time, man. Um, um, if you don't know me, I guess you, I don't know. You just gotta dial in, man. Cause you know what I mean. Like I, I can't go through everything I've I've been through. You know, I've been here twenty years, man. About just about twenty years. Right. No, even longer, even longer. But since I've been like, you know, kind of serious, you know, it's been twenty years, seriously. So. I mean, if you don't know, if you don't know by now, I don't know. You don't know. Tell you, man. I don't Word up. Because <laughs> I, I was going to yeah. ask too. You know what? What was the point where you say, you know what? I'm gonna take this rap thing serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, did something happen to make you do that, or you just like, you know what? I I, I got the skill. I'm ready to show and prove. Um. Yeah, it was. I, I don't know the exact moment, but because I think I played with it. I think I played with it for a long time, bro. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you. Even when you, y'all heard me on the clues and definitely, I think I was still playing. I think I was still playing with it at that time. <laughs> Eighteen. Yeah. yeah, I was still. Yeah. I wasn't still all the way. You know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't know the impact. So, you know what I wanted to say too. It's funny because a lot of like we're from the same same generation. So I, I know about the clue. I know about all those different avenues. Could you say, can you tell let the people know how how different the game was back then? Like as far as like how, how you had to be serious. You, it, it was oh man, it was it was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. Like, like, bro, you couldn't even go nowhere. Like, if you went somewhere, you had to be you had to be like either, if you're not one of them people, you're gonna get beat up, punched in the face, robbed. <laughs> Like it was that error, you know. You know that, like yeah, yeah absolutely. If you was outside, and you know, it's, it's not even the rappers, like the entourage, a different entourage. Everybody rolls yep. with fifty motherfuckers, and they all ruthless. So everything was just tense. It was all always tension. It was always right. tension when you came outside. And then if you wasn't, if you wasn't built for that shit, it just was a different time, man. I seen a lot of people get robbed, but like that. I seen a lot right. of rappers get robbed. Okay. I seen a lot of rappers get robbed. I won't say no names, but so, <laughs> so I, I'm talking about fame. I seen in, in person with my own eyes. Like, or, man, I can only imagine. Like, man, man, I can write a book, man. <laughs> write a book, man. All right, maybe after you wrap up rap, maybe yeah. something you'll get into. <laughs> word, word. So how word. how was it growing up in, in in Jersey City? I grew up in Newark, so I know it's kind of similar to that. Um. How was it growing up in Jersey City? You're originally from New York, though, right? Was that where you yeah, were born yeah. originally? Uh, I was born, a, yeah. I was born in Brooklyn. Okay. I was born in Brooklyn. Um, um, then I came over to Jersey. You know, I, my childhood was kind of, you know, kind of crazy. Foster homes, yeah. group homes, and shit. And then when I finally, when I finally connected with my mom and shit, we connected back in Jersey City and shit. So she was, she was sick for a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah, she was sick. Uh -huh. So I had, to, I had to do a couple years in uh, forcing homes and, and group homes and shit like that. Yeah, until she I, got so, right. So she got better, yeah. And then mm -hmm. when she got better, she, you know, she, uh, we connected back. And by that time, I was uh, ready to go into grammar school and shit. So I, okay. I, so that's when I came to Jersey City, and um, yeah, it was, it was, it was a seamless transition, kinda. It was, I didn't really notice. You know just, what I'm saying? Like, I didn't really notice. Just out of curiosity, what high school did you go to? What, in Jersey City? Yeah. I went to Ferris High School. Ferris. Ferris. Okay. I got a good... Yeah, I, 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 got a good I friend got a from good, Ferris, yeah. Really good friend that uh, went there, graduated in 99. 
I graduated in '96, I believe. Uh, he, 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 was a, he, he was a young head. He was probably a freshman. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was, yeah, he was a, he was a young, he was a young boy, man. Yeah, yeah he was. I got that. <laughs> nah, but I was I was telling Derek too before. I was like, yo, with Rand's music, yo, you can feel you can feel the pain in the music. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even from back in and back from the cool days, you really now I'm listening to it more and more now. You can feel that. So your upbringing probably helps bring that out a lot, right? When you write yeah, it. yeah, yeah. It's, it's it, it helps me deal with it, kind right. of. You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. probably it probably saved my life. I ain't gonna lie to you. If I didn't if I didn't have this, then I don't know what I I don't know what I'd do. Yeah. So it's kind of it's kind of like my it's kind of like me venting. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a, I'm not a talkative dude. I don't talk a lot. I don't. <laughs> I'm not. I don't be in these circles. I don't. You don't. You don't see me. You ain't gonna see me around. You're not. Yeah. Not see me with the rabbity rap niggas and shit and all doing all this type of shit because I'm I'm real private. So I the only way I get to get it out is is through the music. So and that's that's how I, that's how I, that's how I give it up. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's, it helps me. It helps me just as much as it helps the fan. Like definitely. Yeah. And I was gonna say D real quick. I can tell. I always said the reason why. I was talking to my man about this a while ago, and he was like, yo, he loved Ransom, right? I was like, yeah, Ransom was dope. He was like, yo, he reminded me of, like, because I, I love J-Rock from the West Coast, right? I'm like, J-Rock nice, but J-Rock, he's like, yo, J-Rock remind me of Ransom. I'm like, I yeah, said the same thing when I first heard J-Rock. Yeah, because I said, yo, what it is oh, is that, like, like the thing about Ransom, I, I, was, I was telling him, was like, yo, he, he's not in these circles, but he's consistently making music. So sometimes when you're not in those circles, you don't get the accolades you know, right away. Absolutely. I said the same Absolutely. thing like J-Rock. I said, now you see, like J-Rock was doing his thing for a while, with TDE for a while. Then all of a sudden, now when his last album dropped, everybody was like, okay. Yeah, but right. he was already nice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's how it goes. He, he, he a product of me. He know that because, look, his first, one of his first features ever was me. Yeah. Okay. Come on, let's not, let's not forget. Like one of his first features ever for, ever for anybody. Even when he was, uh, he had the Little Wayne feature, yep. mm-hmm. of course. But right after that, he came to New York to feature <laughs> with, with me. He yep. came to the studio for me. I didn't re- request that feature. Yeah. He requested that. He was like, yo, I got to come fuck with Ransom. And that's how yeah. I did, that's how I got, you know, to join with, with was it K-Dot. Yeah. Because K-Dot was with him. Well, well I, you know I mean? yeah. Yo, we ain't going front as far as your feature game is ridiculous. So we we know. On, we, we, we know yeah, the feature yeah, game is ridiculous. Yeah, right. <laughs> Kiss, uh, whoever you want to name. Ross. Freddy, Ross, Ross, Ross. Yeah. Ross Fred, well, you know Fred. what it is, man? Like, like guys <laughs> that can... Yeah. Yeah. Guys that yeah, can really man. spit. I mean, they're going to respect that whether you hanging in the circles or not. Um, Everybody's watching. Everybody watches greatness. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, they, don't and, li- they don't like me, though. They don't like me, man. <laughs> well, when you when you a threat, you know the vibes. That's, that's a fact. That's what it, that's that's a, what it is. That's a, that's a fact. So that's a fact. So back in the day, did you did you have a deal with Def Jam or, or nope. something was lingering or? Yeah, I ain't never signed nothing to nobody. Okay, but, but we definitely was gonna do the Def Jam thing. Yep. Was that you and Hitch? Yep. Okay. Yep. Me and Hitch. Um. We had the little John. That's when we had the we had the little John single, mm-hmm. and then they fucked it up, and then little it ended up in little Scrappy's hand. Mm. <laughs> wow. So yeah, that's a, you know a lot of people don't know that story, but we had that we had the we had it. It was getting pressed up for vinyl, and it was ready wow. to go, and then and then and then the next the next morning, I don't know, a couple mornings after, somebody hit me like, yo, you on the radio? I heard, listen to this shit, it was a little scrappy. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? And so, and then the crazy part about, about the Def Jam situation, you know, um, L.A. Reid was there, and he was, yep. he was, he was actually signing us. Mm-hmm. With the actual, when he was signing us, in the process, you know, I guess he, I don't know if he got, le- he, he left or he got fired or some shit like that, and then Jay came. Mm-hmm. Yep. So Jay put it, you know, Jay deaded it basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, mm. so did no, you have like that? that <laughs> no hard, no hard feelings, Jay. <laughs> well, we, we know that, I know how that go. <laughs> know how that go. <laughs> did you have like um? How'd you link with um? How'd you link with Clue and and, and Joe? Did you just know Joe from the city? No, I know, I know I didn't know Joe from the city. Okay. Oh, I didn't know Joe from the city, but he was already ascending. 
when I started, you know what I'm saying? When I started, I just, I just started rapping, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Mm-hmm. No, but, you know, honestly, when I first started rapping, I was, I was, I, I, I was writing for a couple of people, like, you know what okay. I'm saying? I mm-hmm. was writing for, I was writing for Vita from Murder Inc. Mm-hmm. Um, bef- this before 18, before Buttons, all that. Yeah. I was writing for um, Monifa. Mm. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's dope. Wow, yeah. that's dope, though. That's talent. Yeah. I was writing for Puffy. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, pa, I was <laughs> in, I was in Daddy's house before eighteen, man. Uh, yeah. uh, and um, and then then then, but I wasn't putting nothing out. You know what I'm saying? It was just like yeah. under like real real underground shit. And then um, I don't know. We we it just it just linked like me and Hitch, and uh and the team linked first, and then and then Buttons heard he caught wind of it. Yeah, mm. you know he what's crazy? Wind, he caught wind of Hitch first. He caught wind of Hitch. The, the thing that's the thing that's crazy, like when you you and Joe had one of the best exchanges ever, like Hell with the yeah. ba- but like I feel like a lot of people will go with these popular, you know, uh, I don't I don't even want to call it beefs, but like you know, uh, stuff on wax. Like y'all y'all had like a legendary because I you know I was a big Joe fan at the time and a big fan of yours at the time, so I followed every single one of those joints. So what y'all did was legendary. I think I, I I think because it turned it, it kind of turned all the way left and went kind of like yeah. Super <laughs> uh-huh. I I think if it didn't if it didn't go that sour I think people would have been like you know kind of warmed up to it like oh that was a legendary beef but it kind of went all the way left. Gotcha. But you know what it is though it's from back in that time where things would happen like that's that. when that yeah that's you know what I'm saying like, <laughs> so it's I'm, like, like if that was see, everywhere yeah. it was like if I seen you or it was like yeah you know, something's gonna happen could possibly yeah we ain't happen. dapping up. <laughs> Yeah, it's something uh, possibly happen. Uh, so, right, so now yeah. these kids now they don't really see that. I mean, well, I'm not cool, saying, yeah, it's cool, cool now. Right. Now, so like, I see what yeah. I say about you. Come, come, yo, let's, let's grab right. a drink, let's get a hug. That's not yeah, how it happened like that. Like <laughs> now, <laughs> like we won't have to have shooting. <laughs> Niggas are shooting, bro. Niggas are <laughs> yeah. shooting. Now. I ain't gonna lie to you. Niggas yeah. are shooting. It's on, on sight, though. On sight. Niggas are shooting. So, it's definitely a different era, man. It's a different right. era of rap. It's definitely a different era. Well, well, I'm, I'm glad that. I'm not glad that era is gone, but I'm glad now everything is on wax. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. everybody good. But make some say, money off it. Right. Make some money off it. But I was gonna say too, one thing I noticed about you too, about the consistency with, with, with how you put your, your your records out, right? Like when you when you go into making an album, do you typically go in, you know, with a producer in mind, or you just have a bunch of lyrics or get the beats first? Like how do you process your 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 thought process when it comes to music? Well, recently, I don't, I don't know if I all, I've always done this, but recently, I just gather I just gather thoughts. It'll take me like a good month, mm-hmm. a couple months, just to gather up ideas. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm not I'm not the type of person that just everything is important to me. Every conversation, every every movie I watch, every every um hand I shake. Everything I hear is important, so I take a little bit from everything, and I and I write that shit down on my notes. I write anything, everything I find interesting. Like, yo, this right. Right. that dude was bugged out. He said some bullshit, and I, I write that. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, this nigga bugged out. Well, I was gonna write that shit down, and then I should have just pop up in a in a situation in a rhyme scheme. I'd be like, yo, yeah, like boom. So it's like that's why I would never run out of material. Cause I always right. I pay attention. I pay attention to every little thing. So I would get usually as a time period of me gather, gathering up information. Yeah, I ain't the type of nigga. I ain't just gonna be rapping about nothing, man. I just right. I can't do that. I just can't just give you a bunch of filler. Yeah, filler, yeah. filler. Like I gotta give you something. So it take me like a couple months to gather up information, and then once I do that, and then you know it'd be the beats that bring it out. Like I need that 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 soundtrack. Cause yeah, I write right. movies. I write scripts. I was going. Yeah, I was going to yeah. ask you about that too. Sure. With like, um, just moving forward because like, all right. So here's, I, I listened to you when you first came out. Like I knew you were fire. You had to run with Clue and all that other stuff. And, and for some reason, I I lost touch until about I want to say maybe two or three years. Uh, I don't know if you if you use title or not, but um, they got the like a my mix section, and it mm-hmm. kind of like lumps in like similar artists or you know who they deem is similar. And right. then, and then one of the songs from Pain and Glory came up. I'm like, "Yo, is this Ransom?" So, <laughs> so um, I think it was uh, Last Supper. 
the Last Supper joint came on. Right, so right, I'm right. like, yo, what is this? I go in and click the album. I'm like, yo. So I remember I was at the gym working out. I hit my man immediately, sent him the whole playlist. I'm like, yo. And then and then that's how I, I that's how I got reacquainted. I was like, yo, this dude ain't lose a step. Word right up. So getting, getting better, man. Yeah. Huh? So um, well, first, did you decide to make this a full length? I saw you tweet like you were on the yeah. fence. Good. Nah, thank it's you. A, it's a full length. <laughs> <laughs> he said thank you. And, yeah. and did Craven do the whole joint? The whole thing, Craven. Yep. This, yep, whole thing crazy. This, this dude's got like, <laughs> like you hear crazy. people do like soul beats, and it's just kind of like you know they're dope too. But his 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 soul beats like exude like pain too. Yeah, it's, so it's, I, it's something I, different. I, <laughs> I, I don't know where where different. you found. He, he's from Canada too, right? Yeah, nah, he 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 got some placements though. Like he got some, you know, my comedy and, and rock. You know what I'm saying like he got some placements, but. I'm going I'm to give you something different on his shit. You know what I'm oh saying? Like, this is a, it's a different... Like, yo, when, when, when y'all hear this shit, man? Yo, when y'all hear this shit, man? <laughs> y'all, yo, y'all like I'm Snoop so, and Dre right now. I'm like, bro, yo. Bro, <laughs> bro, wait until y'all hear this shit that's coming. It's, it's unbelievable, bro. And I'm, I'm not understating that shit. I, I believe it. Unbelievable. Word. Unfucking believe it, man. He, he you, bring it out. He bring it out. How'd you link with him? I don't know, like... I had stopped for a minute because you know 2017 was the last time I dropped a project. Yeah. And um I had stopped. I was doing A and R. I was A and R and I was buying it, writing for other motherfuckers. I was chilling. I was like, I ain't, you know, yeah. I don't need to I wasn't I, not that I was feeling under underappreciated and all this other shit. Cause that's not gonna make me stop. But I just was like, all right, fuck this shit, man. Like I'm not getting what I what I what I deserve out of this shit. So let me go find do something else. So I was doing some some A and R work and I was um writing. Mm-hmm. And then um he had approached me, you know, to get on some uh, album he was doing. I was like, nah, I don't even rap. <laughs> 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 I don't rap, man. So he said he was like he's like he's he's a determined motherfucker. He like me. So he just he just sent me beats, man. He sent me like <laughs> Nigga sent me like 500 beats, man. Jeez. Like, wow. Yo, bro, this nigga's crazy. Like, he's, he'll send me, he, he done send me like 3,000 beats, yo. No lie. Wow. So he's a workhorse. No, I'm, I'm picky, though. So it's like, I'm, I, I'm picky. So I don't know. He, it, it was the Reaper's Hood. He, um, he had, he, uh, sent me a joint and the beat just connected with me. And I still was like, nah, nigga, I don't rap. So he's like, yo, I, <laughs> he was like, man, I'll pay you, man. So I was Damn. like, yeah, he brought me back. <laughs> he, he brought, brought you back. back. I was like, "Oh, all right, fuck it, I do it for a check." Oh yeah, and then for a little check, you know what I mean? I do it for yeah. a little check. Hey, that ain't my none. This rap is easy to me, so right. I picked the beat. It was the Reaper's Hood. He put it out. People responded to it, but it, I don't know. I just felt something. I was like, "Yeah, I could, I could still do this at a high level." Well, salute right. to Nick Craven, right. man. We appreciate you. Yes, good, good, good looks. <laughs> it was it was him, but I gotta give credit to a lot of the people that brought me. It was him and and, and Thirty Eight Special. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thirty Eight Special. He, I had a conversation. You know, he was a couple conversations with him. He just was like, "Nah, nigga, you bugging and shit." Like a lot of people don't know. I talked to I talked to the butcher. I talked to Benny the butcher. Like so, it was people like that that kind of kind of pushed me. It's like, "Nah, yeah. nigga, you wilding." And like he's on fire right now. So, and I was yeah, gonna bring, yeah, yeah. I was gonna bring that up too. And when we we had um, um met with Shay Noor, uh, what like about two weeks ago, three weeks ago maybe, right yeah. before mm-hmm. joint drop. That's my favorite rapper, right by the way. Yo, she, she, she's, she's official, man. And we were saying how it seemed like Buffalo, right? They kept that grimy sound that we love to hear and never changed at all. So now it's like dudes like you. That always rapped like that. Right. Now, I, I can't, yeah, it gave me. Uh, that's why I had to. I had to come back because it. Yeah. They, they 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 opened the lane back up for me. Yeah, right. it, it wasn't open when I was doing it. Right. That, that's what I'm saying. It was changing. So I wanted to ask you too. Throughout your journey, how did you, like you? Oh, you never changed. Like you know what I'm saying? Because some people were conforming, changing different yeah. things, trying to fit in. You know, even some of our our favorite rappers that we yeah. know. Might put a couple of songs like I love Fab and then Fab, you know, do his little thing. You know how it goes. Right, right. But Fab is nice, but even everyone tried to try to get that commercial joint. You never right. did that. you kept on putting the constant music out. So what made you stay to that? Stay true to that. 
I don't know. I, you know what? I try. I, I tried different things here and there. You know what I'm saying? And I just didn't feel right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It, 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 it ain't. It ain't sit right. So I, I did. I did try a couple times. You know what I'm saying? Here and there. I, let me do this type of record. Do this type of record. It just was like nah. You know what I'm saying? But I would never do like a whole. You know, change my whole way. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? This is what I. This is me. And then like I told y'all before, I use this shit to vent so it's like I can't you know what I'm saying so anytime I would even try to do a different type of record hmm. that's that all that shit would come back out anyway like right. got you. I switched the beat like and put some pain shit on like <laughs> let me just spill my gut <laughs> you know what I'm saying so that, like I said this is the way this is a way for me to, to vent yeah. you know what I'm saying so I couldn't I couldn't change I can't change I yeah. can't well, we well, we appreciate it too. We greatly right. appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate everybody who listens to that type of shit. Honestly. Well, you you like the way you even form your bars. Like you 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 could be deemed as a street rapper, or whatever. But you're not talking Dang about it. just yeah. No, nope. you know, I hear you talking about like art and and different type of stuff that cooking that. that, that not, cat, you feel me? They're not yeah. listening. They're that not that listening, cat's man. that cat's really got it. So they can't they can't put you into that box because of the way it sounds. Like we really listen. Like we dig into hip hop. So um, we're I'm not, not talking about that. shooting. My, I'm not talking exactly. about shooting people. Not I'm not talking about selling drugs. I'm not talking about none of that. Shit. I'm talking about what I maybe I used to do that or or a situation I seen before. Or but I I give you the whole spectrum. I'm not no I, cocaine rapper. I'm not no gangster rapper. None of that shit. I even like the joint with um on on the pain and glory the joint I think it's called um it got Jade on it you was rapping about the girl oh, yeah, like that's real like, that was real like, shit man like that even you you was hurting in that joint <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even want to re I don't even want to revisit I, that word I, up. I, I hear you I had was, she, she yeah, had you shed some tears huh <laughs> <laughs> it was real it, it was we all, real we all been there. But yeah, uh, shit real. but you stay true to your style in that joint, and that's one of my favorite songs of yours. And and what I'm gonna say, like I think I think Hellraiser is. I mean, Hellraiser might be my favorite song in the year. Um, that that joint is just that joint is just crazy. That girly line in there, oh my goodness. But but brutal, look, brutal, o- brutal over most people's head. And yeah. and that was a, that was a recent bar. Like girly just got on the Falcons. <laughs> like, did he, bro, did he did he write that when he saw the press conference? Bro, nah, <laughs> yo, that's that shit just become yo. I got so many over the heads, but I, we locked I, in, man. I, I live for that. I live for that shit. I live for that shit. You know what's I crazy? When you hear directors cut one, two, right? When I put it on, it's just like a scene. It just goes through. So I could be doing whatever, working out, doing whatever I'm doing. And I'm not realizing what's happened. And then I understand, no, it's over. I'm like, wait, wait, whoa, whoa. That was the plan. That, that was the plan. <laughs> that was the plan. And, and and even this LP right now, you're not even going to know it's over. Yeah. It's going to spin right back. It's going to spin right back. You're going to be like, damn, like, that's 10 joints right there? Word. It's going to spin right back. It's going Like, that's the whole plan, though. So I, I, I me working behind the scenes and, and, and labels and shit, so I just gained the understanding of of how music should be listened too. So I'm not gonna change my style of music, but I'm gonna change the way I give it to you. Presentation, yep. yeah. Right. I'm gonna change the way I'm the, I'm gonna I'm gonna change the way you consume it. Right. So so that it works for me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because it's a streaming world. So I need I need you to I need that shit to keep running. Yeah. That shit to keep running. Ain't like you run into not, Best Buy to pay nine 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 no more. Nah, People ain't doing that. <laughs> yeah, day. Up. And, get, and guess what? I don't want you to do that right now. I don't want you to, because once you pay that nineteen ninety ninety nine, it's yours, and, and I don't get paid no more. Right. Yeah, you want to keep on. This shit's <laughs> stealing, man. This, yeah. What these regular labels is doing? See, I'm not with no regular. I'm my own regular label, so I know it's stealing. Right. Well, you've been eating off of. The, the feds about to come rich. <laughs> it's gonna rain. Yeah, you better get you better get yours off now. <laughs> you goddamn right. You goddamn right, man. This shit is it's, it's, it's crazy. Are you are you in the like um horror movies and art? Cause I'm looking at the, yeah, the three yeah. different like you want some Freddy Krueger type yeah, yeah, nah, vibe uh, on this new one. <laughs> yeah, I love I love I love mu I love movies, I love horror movies, mm-hmm. I love all types of movies. I just I just love creative visual shit. You know what I'm right. saying? I, I I feed off that shit. So yeah. um I don't know. It's just 
I seen everybody, you know, either some niggas is doing fucking, uh, you know, either niggas is doing gangster, uh, Tony Montana, or, or yeah. and I'm just, just not a shot to nobody. I'm just saying, like, because I've done it before, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's yeah. usually what we gravitate to. We, we usually gravitate to, to gangster shit. So, I, you know, niggas that gravitate to, you know, Tony Montana or Blow or this. I was like, you know what? I, I like horror movies, you know? I like movies. <laughs> Yeah. But, you know, I, I, I'm not selling drugs right now. I'm not shooting nobody right now. But this is what I, this is what I like. You yep. know what I'm saying? So, so no, that's what I came about. No right. doubt. Matter, matter of fact, I'm probably one of the only people in America that believe Donnie Brasco better than uh, Scarface. That's just me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You might be the only motherfucker. <laughs> no, nah, uh, Donnie Brasco. You said Donnie Brasco? Yeah, Donnie Brasco. Donnie Brasco was incredible, though. Yeah, that's a dope yeah. incredible. Because yeah, I think I think with the Scarface thing, because my uncle, because I, I was too young, of course. When my uncle said when the Scarface first came out, people didn't go watch it like that. Nah, yeah, one of the right. things that 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 we did as a culture. Right. Cult, we, it was like a cult following. Yeah. Cult following. So when I look for the movie side by side, I'm like Donnie Brasco. I'm like, yeah, I like it a little better. But I, you know, he won't talk. No, about you know what? It's the it's the it's it, it, you always have to go back to historical impact too. You know what I'm saying? So honestly, Donnie Brasco is a better movie. You know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like it's better, it's better script, better acting. You know what I'm saying? Like if you want to be technical, it's a better movie. But Scarface is just I can't, just I can't it. put it. I can't put it ahead of that. Yeah, that's the OG. Right, the, the historical impact. That's right, you know what right. I'm saying, or what it did for the culture. I can't put it there. Even though Donnie Bryce was a better movie. That's true, false. true. <laughs> What's um? So moving forward, you dropped this album. What else are you are you looking to get into? Man, I'm all, I'm into all types of shit, man. Look, I'm into all like all right. So after this, me and me and Thirty Eight Special, mm-hmm. we working on some. We're working on a couple of things. Um, album. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna go too much into that. Yeah, that's, yeah. Nah, that's, know, cool. that's 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 after that's after this one, and I'm I'm looking to drop after this. One, I'm looking to drop probably another maybe three times. Yeah. <laughs> but and I was gonna ask you about this too, because it seems like yeah. so so with oh, with COVID going on, right? Because oh. you be, mm-hmm. because because you can't move like you want to move in certain places. You know what I'm saying? Did that make you just focus and say, yeah, I'm dropping as much as I can right now? Oh like, yeah. Okay, yeah. I fi- I figured that. Everybody else is. I've been in pain my whole life. Now everybody else in pain. I'm gonna make you feel now. Let's let now we all together now. All together. Come feel me now. Now y'all can. Feel, now y'all can uh, really feel me. Now y'all can word. really feel me. Yeah, do you I'll, see? That's what that, do you see the stream? Uh, the streams and stuff going up during COVID too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <bro>. yeah. Fuck <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. And it's crazy. Like I'm. You know. I'm. Um. I'm looking on Twitter. Like, I, our timeline is basically like all hip hop talk. Like. It's it, it's amazing how many how many fans are have respect for you, and, and that's dope. And are dope. are like waiting waiting for uh, one of my <laughs> one of my boys like he's just like yo when ransom dropping when ransom dropping I'm like yo he gave me two L he gave me two EPs this year. Um, what more more do you want? He, he, you know he, he want more. He dropped um uh Soul Killer you did right? Yeah. yeah. I'm like was- but but he just wants he he just wants more. And I feel him because the music is crazy. I got him. I got him. <laughs> I got him. I got you got to tell him, this is art, right? It's, it's it is art. art. It is so art. You, you look at it for like, like we talked about before, D, like I look at music now different than I did when I was younger. Now when I see like an EP, I'm like, yo, this is art. I might want more songs, but let me respect it for what it is and let me love those eight songs. Right. And then the, yes. next, the next piece of art, I love that too. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. I think it comes with age. I think when you're younger, you want more and more and more. Give it to me now, like give me me. But now it's like, right, let me sit back and watch it. Let me see them. Let, let, let them cook. And yeah. now we in a, we in a, we in a, we in a day and age. Like I said, we have to as 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 older artists, we have to not conform, but we have to kind of change the way we make our listeners consume the music. So everything is microwave shit. So I'm not willing to compromise my quality. Mm-hmm. So what I have to do is up my quantity. But still keep the same quality. That means I gotta work harder. Right. So that's True. so I just I'm gonna just work harder. Fuck it. I'm gonna just <laughs> work harder. I'm gonna give you the same quality, but I'm gonna just give you more of it. Yeah, a lot right. of people can't do that though. But a lot yeah. of people can't, and a lot of people can fake it too. 
I'll be mistaken. I don't want to, you know what I mean? Yeah, I we, <laughs> Rand, I mistaken, man. Rand got, people, <laughs> got a crazy book. He know everything. You got a crazy book. I can't wait for you to, you, you drop that one, you turn 50. Yo. I don't matter. Look, that look, that look, I'm just saying, like, a lot of people can fake it, man. Like, and I respect it because I know, yo, know, if y'all, if y'all, I don't know, man. If y'all knew how to, if y'all, like, as a bar writer, I know when somebody taking off. Mm. I know when somebody taking off, but he can make it so seamless where the the consumer don't know that he's taking a day off. Right. Yeah. But I do. Especially if you know, (laughs) especially if you've heard other stuff and you know what they're capable of too. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. So, but I say all that to say, when you see somebody dropping 10 times a year, it's like, all right, but is the qual is it really is they giving you something to live by? Words to live by. I'm trying to get right. words, right. words to live by. Like these are words. The shit I be saying is be words to live by, yo. Like it's it's my life. Like this I had to go through this type of shit. Like, yo, I gotta I gotta i am I'm gonna give y'all a little nugget. I got a song on this shit. I'm talking about karma, man. Like karma's my girlfriend, bro. Like mm-hmm. like you know how people say karma's a bitch? Yeah. I'm rapping like karma's my bitch. Yeah. And how and how I'm trying to escape this motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I've been running from this bitch my whole life. <laughs> Word. You know what I'm saying? This she's an ex and she don't quit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold you, know you accountable saying? too. Word and up. she holds you accountable every fucking time. So it's like I'm 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 on, I'm I'm giving you concepts. I'm giving you within the, within the concepts, there's look, I, I put it like this. Every every rapper got a toolbox. You know what I'm saying? We poets at the end of right. the day. How we want to put it? We this is poetry. So you got your metaphors, you got your entendres, you got your multi syllable, you got all that shit, man. I'm I have now opened up my full toolbox and I can use all of it. So I use gotcha. all my t- I use every one of my tools. And on top of all of those tools I'm using, I'm giving you words to live by and concepts. Mm-hmm. So I give you the every little bit that I have, that I, every skill that I have, I'll give you. These niggas not doing that. Uh, yeah. There's, there's I, niggas that use the multis and, and niggas think they going off. You know what I'm saying? But they not <laughs> rapping about nothing. They not rapping word. about nothing. We got yeah. niggas that, that rap fast and, and they using multis and oh, he going off, but what the, he not, what the fuck is he going off about? What you saying? <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? What the fuck is this nigga talking about? I'm giving you, so they, so, and not that they can't do it. It's just that it's harder to do. Yeah. Right. I, t- I take my time. Like I, this is this for me. This is our art because I take my time to do this shit, and I give it to you the way you're supposed to have it with right. everything. I use everything in my toolbox. You know what's crazy? Because we we talk about this. You brought it up a few times on on the pod. We call we call certain rappers like masterclass. Like meaning like. They done mastered everything and they get it. And we put people in that frame. So I'm saying like you're in that in that same breath too. Like we, we talk about Royce being in it, Black Thought being in it, people that you know can just dance on the beat and you know you know it's no matter what beat you give them, no matter what you throw at them. No bars they, wasted. No bars no wasted. No bars wasted. No ever. fillers. No fillers. No, no fillers. fillers. And, and no I think fillers. that the, the thing that's crazy, I was going to ask you this too, about overseas. It seems like overseas fans they get things a lot more and they're real, I'm going to say real hip-hop fans, I'm going to say that, but they are more in tune with the music than us in the States. I don't know why it is, but have, do you feel that way? Have you seen that too? Yeah, I, I think we're catching up though. Yeah, Before, yeah, now we are. A little early, yeah, a little, like, <laughs> a couple, year, couple years back, it was just them. Like, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was just dumb. They loved underground, gritty, hip-hop. That's why all the old, all the Wu-Tang and, and all the old hip hop groups was going over overseas and, and making a killing. Mob yeah. Deep, you know what I'm saying? They was going over there and making a killing because they love real hip hop over there. But I think over here, you know, and I'm going by numbers. I'm a numbers guy. And now I'm, I'm forced to be a numbers guy because I'm I, I like money. So, <laughs> was, so looking at the numbers, we've caught up. Okay. Nice. Well, that's good. We caught up. Yeah. And, and 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 I gotta give I gotta I gotta give Griselda a, a big up. And, Word. You know, I gotta give them. Big, they 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 help. They help us catch. They helped us catch up. Right. Yeah. They 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 brought it back to what you know. I'm not gonna say. I don't want to say like real hip hop fans. I hate to use those words. You know what I'm saying. But it brought it back to what we used to 
growing up in the in the in the 90s, you know what I'm saying? Not like 95, it's 96 is, you know what I'm saying? To where you didn't waste the bar and you had you had all these spitters, but they all were different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So everybody brought their own little thing that you kind of saw the copycat thing in, in like the 2000s and, and up until I would say like last like five years. <laughs> you know, you saw right. No, that's a fact. And their sound is crazy. I mean, it, it's almost like RZA reincarnated are doing it is doing their beats when you listen to. It's a fact, like, I, and, I, and it's purpose. It's on purpose too. It's not, you know, yeah, it's something they, that they, they, they're they're fans of that genre, and 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 they, and I, what I can say is, I, me seeing them is like okay, me, I'm a, you know, me, I'm a, I'm a gladiator, so it's like. <laughs> I'm like, damn, yeah, they, they opened the doors. So now they open the doors. I'm going to kick that motherfucker. I'm going to take this shit over. Right. right up. That's, just how, that's just the way I think. I'm just a, I'm, I'm a, I'm an apex predator. I just, I got to be the top dog. I got to gotcha. try to be. I got to try at least. Yeah. Exactly. Who you, um, who, who you listening to now? I know you said Shay. Shay is yep, your fa- Shay. favorite rapper. Uh, yeah, we had her on a couple weeks ago, man. And then we heard the album. I was just like, my mind was blown. So who else? That's what made. To? That's what. That's what made me come on it on this show. Oh, all right. <laughs> salute, salute to Shay. Salute, salute to Shay. Shay. <laughs> I was like, oh, they had Shay on shit. I'm gonna do it then. There you go. No doubt. Respect that. Yeah. Good looking, bro. Um, right. who else do you um? Who else do you listen to outside of Griselda and Shay? It could be outside old, whatever. I like oh Gibbs. Yeah, Freddie. Like Fred. Freddie got that work. Yeah, I fuck with Gibbs. Um, damn, what I've been what I've been listening to, too, man. I ain't gonna front. I listen to a lot of my shit, man. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. Like I listen to a lot of my cause, cause I'm always creating, so I'm always listening to what I just did. Right. Yeah. So it's like I heard scene three like five million times. So I was like, I don't even hear that <laughs> shit. <laughs> I hear it to the point where I'm like, motherfuckers ain't even gonna like this shit. But then I have to remember the first time I heard it. I yeah. Was, yeah, you so, like you might be tired of it. You hearing it all the time, right? So a lot of time I, I listen to my shit, and then I, I I grab inspiration. I go listen to, you know, Griselda, Shay, Thirty Eight, mm-hmm. of course. Yeah, Etho, Lil Etho, mm-hmm. um, people like that. And you know, I like I like I like the bigger. You know, I'm, I'm a Nas, I'm a Nas fan. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Big Nas, Jay Z. You know what I mean? I, mm-hmm. I love all the I love all the greats. I love hip hop. Gotcha. I love hip hop, so my playlist is vast. Just when I let it play, it's just that. Right. So I was going to ask too, um, and I mentioned this before in another pod about how like all the top rappers, top lyricists, I always say, not just book smart. I'm not saying that, but they're very smart individuals. You know what I'm saying? And you can tell by when you speak to them. So like, when you talk to like a Nas, you hear it when he's talking to you. You know that he reads right. a lot. I'm not. I, I never want to say. It doesn't have to be schooling, like school. Right, right. Or, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. It's more aware of the world. So how do you think? And I can tell by talking to you, that's how you are. So how do right. you think that opens up your brain as far as writing? As far as like you say, you look at everything. It, it's I don't I don't see how any other way. I don't right. See any other way? Like you, you could tell the difference. Like before, when I was when I was younger, you know, I wasn't. You know what I mean? I was a bar. I was a barbarian. Yeah. You, <laughs> you kind of you kind of heard it. You know, I didn't know much, you know what I'm saying? I didn't pay attention to anything, you know what I'm saying? I paid attention with the shit I wanted to pay attention to. <laughs> and so you heard it, and, and then there's certain people that like that. But mm-hmm. as you get old, as you get older, it's like, and then there's still certain people that kind of want you to stay like that. Yeah, you can't be 40 saying certain stuff. You just can't do it. That's whack. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. terrible. It's terrible, so... <laughs> I got, you know what I'm saying? I got more enlightened about certain things. And like you said, reading and, and, and paying attention. Pay attention. Just paying attention, man. It's not, it's, it's not even that, it's not even being a fucking bookworm or, you know, as I did, I do read. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, but it's just more of paying attention. I just pay attention more than I did before. And that, yeah. a lot of people be like, yo, how'd you, well, how you, how you, because a lot of people think I got better. So it's like, how? How'd you do it? So it's like, okay, I just paid attention more. Mm-hmm. I just, I just paid attention more, and I'm, I, I, I like consciously, I want to be the greatest. Mm. So if I think I'm whack, I, you'll never hear me again. Like, you never <laughs> hear another barber. Ain't that? You can write your book then. 
Then I'll sit back around the hall. <laughs> and if yeah. that shit if that shit whack, you ain't gonna hear that either. All right, uh, I can I, dig it. I, I want to add one quick thing too about unity, right? What I'm noticing too, I'm noticing there's a lot more unity up top than we had before. You know what I'm saying? It seems like now it's like dudes are working with each other, trying to like you know, like yeah. you said, Griselda. And I think they brought that in because like I think you know by then they brought it back. And now people work with each other. What? Who would think that Buffalo would bring back? That's cra- that sounds <laughs> crazy. We we're talking to Shay about that too. Like, like the hip hop that we used to, that we that we love. So I, give, I give it to them. I give it to them. They did uh, it. Like upstate as a upstate period. Like there's so yeah, many dope ass coming. upstate. Yeah, like uh, so many like Etho, Spesh, Griselda, fucking um, Riggs, like mm-hmm. all them. Like bro, Shay. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a countless, countless of, like they just they single handedly brought that shit back. I'm yeah, gonna absolutely. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to them. You know they, they always had like niggas like Rock. Yeah, like, yeah. You know that was, but they made they just brought it back like full full, like home in your face. We from the streets. We from upstate. We from Buffalo here, yeah, and we doing it. That's how and we that's do. The, we repping. Mm-hmm. I like that. I like that type of shit. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Go ahead, Vaughn. I was going to say, I had a question about your, your features, man. You have so many features, right? So I was going to ask, like, what's the feature that, that, that you heard or you were on that you were like, all right, it could be a team joint, could be a collab, or could be a cool take, could be whatever. But you were like, all right, I, I got, I got, my, I got my, pen, my pen game got to get up right now. Like, this, this he's coming. Never happened. Not, never happened. Never happened. Never happened. All right. What do you mean, like, what, whoa, 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 let me, what do you mean, like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, when you heard, like, after, after the joint done? After the joint done, or, or you oh, can call no, it your no. verse first, or <laughs> never, never. I like that. So, it's, so. It's, never, it's never, it's not like that. Nobody never rapped it better. I just feel like nobody ever got me. Like, I, got I always have, I always have my own. Like, you know, yeah. there's always going to be argument. Like, nah, I, I think, I think the same, I think the same thing from what I've been hearing. I, well, I know, yeah. but I want to see what you were going to say. Cause, like, you know how when you went there in the studio or whatever, you could say, you know what, damn, I could have came a little harder right there. You know what I'm saying? Or something like that. Not me. I never, I never, yeah. I, never, I never changed the verse ever. Wow. Once I put it, when I put it down, I'm leaving. And usually, like, here's another little nugget. Back in them days, all of, you know, the, the freestyles we all did together, I usually be the first one laying my shit and I'm gone. Mm. Yeah. Y'all niggas gonna do what y'all do after that. I wow. say you're confident oh. with yours, yeah. Yeah, like I'm gonna rap and then y'all niggas do whatever y'all want. Fab you wanna do, I don't give a fuck. Niggas be changing their verse. I don't care. Changing a million times. Yeah, you I'm did good. what you came to do. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm good. Like I don't. I'm I'm cool with what, what I just did. I already know what I just did. So and that's, and that's the I, ultimate like said, com- confidence too. I'm a gladiator. I'll come. This I I'm a com- I'm, I I love to compete. So it's, I'm coming in to win anyway. Right. Yeah. I'm coming in to win. So I'm not gonna half-ass that. Sh- I would never have half-ass the situation. Never. And, and this is why dudes are scared to get on trash for ransom. No, for that's years, a fact. For years, for years, it's a fear thing. A like fact. you know, what right. it is like I'm coming to win. Like I'm not coming to, even though it could be a joint. I don't give a fuck what the joint about. I'm coming to win. <laughs> I'm coming to win, man. That's and, what rap is about to me. And that's how that's how it should be. Still sharp and still. So whatever that's you win with somebody, you know what I mean. You you go let let it be up for debate. You know what I'm saying. Let, you, it, you, let you, it be like, up. Let it, that's what it is. I, like on like on this this scene three. You know I got. I got some, you know, I got RJ Payne, you know, he, he gave me a run for my money. <laughs> RJ, I just got up on RJ Payne. One of my boys was telling me about, I'm like, yo, this dude is nice. No, nah, he's a gladiator. Yeah, man. He, 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 he's different. Um, this is uh switch the topic real quick. Um, TV shows. What are you watching? I like old shit, man. So <laughs> I watch the new shit. I, you know, I, I just, I, me and my wife just ran back Breaking Bad. I just, oh, she, I just, ain't that, ain't, ain't that yeah. Ross a classic? Yeah, it's a classic. Yeah, I just put, I just put up, she didn't know about that, so I just put up on okay. that. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, my top five TV shows is Breaking Bad. First five seasons of Walking Dead, not the, not the rest of that shit. Oh. <laughs> not the rest of that shit. The Wire. Wire, yeah. okay. Um, I don't know, like yeah, that those those like that that's that's usually my lane. Right? Oh, I, I love Ozark. Ozark. I, I was Ozark's about to ask. Crazy. Ozark. Uh, crazy. I don't know if you messed with Snowfall. Snowfall got that work too, man. I I I started to watch it, but then it just gave me the vibe of um, 
I, I don't like the way it was. It was, it was basically Rick Ross. Story. Oh, okay, nah, nah, yep. But they ain't really they ain't give him the credit. Like, and paying but, like, so you couldn't bro, vibe with it. Okay. Which was kind of crazy about that. Was yeah, like crazy. why would you not? You know what I'm saying? The man, why would you? <laughs> it's, it's it's obviously about Rick Ross, bro. Obviously. But, yeah, you yo, can change that however you want. Uh huh. Yeah, like it, was, that was crazy to me. So, yo, I said the same thing, and I'm like, damn, God, I'm RIP, God bless John Singleton. I'm like, yo, but John, you you from the you from around the around the way, like you yeah, know that's what I'm saying. Like, like love. and because they were saying that, oh, there's a bunch of Rick, it was a bunch of people doing the same thing. I'm like, all right, not you, like you, him, not like him. We oh, know who it was. Man. Nah, that was <laughs> nah with the, the whole government, all that's that's Rick Ross. Yeah, man. come on, get a man his get a man his flowers, man. He here, man. Mm-hmm. So you know that's that that me watching the show it's it was like because I, I like cocaine I like the documentaries cocaine cowboys and all oh, that yeah that was so it was kind of like watching that shit I'm like uh, it was I don't know maybe I gotta revisit it it's nah, a dope it's show it, it, it's a dope I heard show it was, I heard great review I heard great things it, about it, it, well, it it's phenomenal but I think what Ransom is saying I understand why you wouldn't get into it though because like like it's a dope show but you know the backstory like yo it's Rick yeah, it's Rick yeah. Ross like. Like I know the story. I know the story all too right. well. It's like, and it's like you watching the same story over and over when I already seen it already. Right. So, and then you're not even giving him the credit mm. or input like, oh, or input. Like mm-hmm. he could have, you could he could have been an asset. That's all. Right. Yeah. Asset. Give, give him a little bread. Give him a little check. You say like, yo, come in and, and um and give him some input. You yeah, know, like, that's it. Light work. See, see, I'm not a I'm not a nigga that has that a watch power. I. You know what I'm, like, <laughs> I'm not into that that glorified bullshit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like, <laughs> you know what? Like, a, like I used to rock. I I, I rocked with first power. season, first season, first two seasons. I was with. I, I was like, this shit, I, it's all right. Like, it's yeah. cool. It's cool. First two seasons, I was like, nah, I, I understand it. But it just, it just got into some stylized, glorified bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my thing is, like, yeah, I start watching Snowfall at the same time. I'm like, yo, Snowfall makes this look like a school play. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm like, I'm Absolutely. off this. Um, and I finished it. I finished it because once you put a certain amount of season in, you, you got you, you to finish it. You got you to gotta finish it. But that's how it ended for me. I was just like, eh. Uh, I think every good show only needs four or five, five max seasons. And I think after that's that... Fact. You start that's getting, you start getting crazy. I don't care if it's that's Sopranos. I don't care what it is. You just that's need to yeah, You mean, start reaching at a certain point. Yeah, let it go. That is a fact. That is a fact. Like I said, like after wa- Walking Dead's fifth season, it got stupid, stupid, crazy. I'm like, nah. Worst nah. five, like you said, five good strong seasons. You straight. I don't need right. to see no more after that. But <laughs> yeah, like I, yeah, I, I, I watch. I mean, I, if I if I ain't watching like old shows, I'm watching movies. Man. But right. you know Ozark is done though. Ozark last season coming up. This this next season. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's but that's one. cool. That's like, I think that. Yeah, I think yeah. they'll end that so, in a solid, cool. solid fashion. You you, you want to know something that that is um, Breaking Bad point two point zero. So you know, even though it's good, but it is it got a Breaking Bad type of feel to it. Mm. So you know, the whole kind of story is kind of Breaking Bad ish. Yeah, so, like they definitely stole a lot of things from it. So, but the, the, it's nice and short. Keep it nice and short, nice and sweet. And 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 don't forget, fellas, that that um these movies on uh, Netflix and Hulu, these things are like music. So the yeah. short, they being streamed. So right. You know, you want it's the same thing as music. You want to keep people watching it over and over again. You don't want to keep some long type of thing mm-hmm. keep going on. So these people are going, they're making their money off streaming too. Absolutely. Word, word, right? So I you think gotta, about that way. Yeah, they have, they're changing, they have to change the way the consumer consumes movies now because they're being streamed. Mm-hmm. So, so it's the same premise. You got to keep it short and sweet. People, to yeah. keep people engaged. And people, I, I would watch Ozark again. The, word. I'll watch it again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you got to keep people. You got to keep people watching it and watching it and watching it and watching. It. Yeah. So yeah, so that's we, the game. Uh, we like to wrap up um, our show with a with a rapid fire session. So it's gonna be like a this or that type of thing. Um, okay. So we'll give you a couple seconds to answer. Hopefully the questions are a little difficult. We want to put you in a tougher spot. Nothing crazy. 
But, um, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's clear. He don't care. <laughs> I don't care about nothing. He already, he getting ready for his book, so. Yeah, yeah uh, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm assuming you're going to answer the right side of this one because our age. What you got, MJ or LeBron? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you know man. No, oh. man. Fuck all that. I'm going with LeBron, man. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the curveball. Fuck MJ. Fuck MJ. Fuck MJ, man. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> Yo, you have to be a Knicks fan. No, I'm not a Knicks fan. All Michael right. Jordan's a piece of Michael Jordan's a piece of shit. And that. <laughs> You know what? Got that got a lot to do with off off the court type stuff. So, oh, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, but yeah. all all that all that plays in for with me. If you the greatest, you are gonna be the greatest. You got to be great outside the court too. Yeah, it's all subjective. Yeah, no doubt. All right, all right. All right. ain't no subjective. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go right. go sell your shoe, nigga. <laughs> all right, my question is gonna be a little open ended though. It's not gonna be more of a this or that, but it's gonna be uh, um. So, with Breaking Bad, who's your favorite character? Damn. Woo! That's yeah, it's a crazy. Lot. It's a lot of them. You know what? I'm a, that's crazy. I'm gonna go with <laughs> that's crazy. I'm gonna go with Gustavo, man. Mm. Yes, I was solid, Gustavo, man. He's solid. Yo, do, do you <laughs> watch? Do you watch Better Call Sal? I watch. I just start. I just started watching it. Yo, like I've been watching it since it came out. It goes into that, and you're gonna see how Gustavo, how he is, who he is. But it's kind of dope, though. I like it. I personally. No, like a, it. Yeah, no. I just I, I'm in, I'm on season one. I just started. Okay. Okay. Just started. Definitely. All right, so I'm going to um, get on that way. Who your favorite Ozark character? Um, Damn, that's a good one, too. I like the, uh, I forgot her name, the old lady that with the shotgun. And oh, Darlene, Darlene, Darlene. Darlene, Darlene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She about that, like Darlene. She about <laughs> she that life. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, Yo, she killed her husband, bro. <laughs> Yo, she is. She, about she was like, you ain't about to stop this money, bro. <laughs> Yo, when she killed that Spanish dude in the house with the shotty, I'm like, yeah. oh yeah, she is crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. She's crazy. She is crazy. She about yeah, that I, I, Darlene is she that she that shit. I like Darlene. Right. I, like, I like Ruth too. That's the that's the homie right there. I fuck there. with Ruth, yeah. I fuck with Ruth. She about the yeah. action too. Yeah, yeah when she <laughs> yo, when she pulled up bumping the Wu Tang. That's what I'm like. And the, the, she was bumping gangstar. gangstar. And the gang I was star, like, yo. Right. Yeah, she's straight. Nah, she right. definitely straight. All right, so this is another opening to my um, your most memorable track or verse that you could think that you spit. Whoa, most memorable, most memorable. All right, that's very open ended right there. Yeah, <laughs> I know, like, I know, I know. The one you was like, damn, okay, put it like this your, the first memorable verse that you spit, the first one you like, yo, oh. this, this is it. Oh, that's uh, pain, the pain track. That's on the first 2004. Uh, all right, all right. Let me know if it's time to split ways. I love to make music. That 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 was the one that kind of brought me. Yeah, to where I had to go. No so doubt. Be that. Who? I know you worked with uh, a lot of people. This is my last one. Who? Who's the feature that you 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 haven't gotten that you like? I need that one, or oh, I want that one. There's a lot, but um, I would love to. I would love to rap with Nas. Yeah, of course, of course, Jay Z, <laughs> man. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I'm, I'm, I think big, man. I'm not gonna go. I, yeah, I like yeah. Him. I mean, Jay Z and Nas. That's that's my level. Like, right. let's yeah. go. All right, all right. Since we listen to the music, and I know you rap about more than just what people think you rap about. What's your favorite dish to cook? Okay, yeah, that's I like that type of shit. <laughs> you know what? I got a vast, I got a vast majority of uh, dishes, you know what I'm saying? But um, I think my favorite one, or my most, I guess it was my most tastiest dish, I, I'm a Caribbean, so curry chicken. I do a, okay. I do a mean ass curry chicken, that's crazy though. It's not no regular, <laughs> not no regular shit, like this shit crazy. All right. All right, no doubt. All right, well yeah. shout out to um, Ransom, man. Uh, shout right. out to your social media if you wanna. Um, yeah, um, now nah, you know, basically, I just want to fuck all that. I just want to say that you know, definitely big up to y'all fellas for doing y'all thing. Yeah, appreciate and, you, um, bro. Appreciate you. Um, I definitely want to say that this scene three that I'm dropping is one of the greatest things that ever happened in, in, his, in the hip, history of hip hop. Wow, looking That's forward what to talking that. about. Like, I'm, um, I, I, you know, I'm look, 
I don't like the understate shit. You know what I mean? My if 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 nobody calls, if you don't call yourself great, ain't nobody else gonna call you great. That's, That's a, fact. a fact. That's a fact. So I, so I I love to I love to say like you know I, you know go back in history. I've been saying I'm the best. So I'm gonna keep <laughs> saying I'm gonna keep saying it until you know it, it just until other people say it. Right. So yeah, this this project. No, seriously, fellas, this project is is special. It's it's really really special. If y'all like scene one, y'all like scene two. Yep. This one is this one is this one is different. It's, right. it's, it's it's you can play them all. And what I plan to do is put them all together and release playlist them type of yeah, and put yeah. them on a the vinyl, put them on you know Ooh, that type of shit. Yeah. yeah, 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 crazy shit. But yeah, just look out for scene three. You know. I don't need to give y'all my social media. Y'all will find me if y'all go. <laughs> they can All find right, me. All right, well, shout out to Ransom. You can find uh, you can find us on IG at the Great Minds Podcast. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Spotify. SoundCloud, YouTube. Uh, catch us on Twitter at the Great Minds P One. Uh, shout out to Ransom for chopping it up yeah. with us, man. We appreciate you, bro. Well, appreciate shout out you. to shout out to y'all, brothers, man. Keep doing y'all thing. Appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, Whatever man. y'all need from me, you know, just let me know. Word. No doubt. Appreciate right. that, bro. Peace, y'all.